Okay, this is a video of the program for flight. Somebody had made a comment they'd love to see what it looked like on the iPad, so I figured I'd go ahead and download it, give it a try myself. First impressions are I'm extremely impressed with the power of the program. It is a very efficient program. 15 meg download carries a lot of punch, as you will see in this video. I'm um, at the App Store just showing the screenshot of it, showing installed, of course. It looks like the program is updated frequently. And for me to continue to using it after 30 days, it gives me a 30 day trial period. I will have to buy a purchase of a subscription, which is a one year plan, which is 75 bucks in round figures, and three month plan, which will be 25 bucks. So, something to keep in mind when you're using this program. Uh, but for evaluation purposes, 30 days is more than ample to figure out whether you're going to like this program. And, and thus far, my impressions are it's a very, very useful program. So I'm going to try to keep this video short. I'm not going to cover every feature of the program. Just I'll call it the wow feature that I came across going through this program. This program will be good for both VFR and IFR pilots, as I will show you in some of the screens. So at any rate, I'm going to go through to each of the uh, features of the program. At the bottom of the screen it gives you airports, it gives you maps, it'll give you imagery, and I'm going to cover the wow factors of each one. You can file and get a briefing. You can make downloads of uh, particular maps for probably offline usage, and of course account, and then there's a scratch pad which I thought was pretty cool, and I'll show that in a few minutes. So going back to the airport, again, I'm going to cover every feature. It would take probably an uh, hour and a half video to go through every real cool feature. But the airports are basically, um, you can find them by searching at the top of the screen. And I've already put in five of them, various types, just for purposes of this video especially. And uh, one thing that's real nice about this, if you're not sure where the airport is after you save it, you can actually locate it quickly in the map and it puts a little dot a little balloon where that actual airport is in relationship to the map so I thought that was a real slick fi feature that you can find the airport quickly especially when you're looking up radar or things like that so go back to airport there and uh, of course the weather nice little feature about this tells you what the conditions are gives it a tap and one thing I did like about this uh, video was uh, or this program that is um, it gives you the actual conditions in color so we can see on this one here 0900 it's going to be marginal VFR conditions so the TAF is actually color coded based on weather conditions and of course your typical winds aloft and it gives you the prognostics based on time so very cool features of uh, especially with the TAF I did like the I call it the wow factor again that it, it color codes the weather conditions based on uh, the pro projected forecast runway is just no different than any AFD um, you can get the procedures for the uh, IFR procedures for the runways and of course the procedures and I did download one already just for the uh, purpose of the demonstration and as you can see it does a good job displaying it speed ILS of course ILS 16 left at Jackson International so um, NOTAMs I love the NOTAM feature I'm going to go to over to MLI because I know they had some uh, issues going on over there with construction uh, especially with the airport NOTAMs I love this feature, another wow factor, because you can tell at a glance what the note I'm referencing to. This one here gives you the T for the taxiway, but what I liked was the runways. You can tell at a glance which runway the note I'm applied to. So I thought that was a really, really quick way of looking and screening out what note is really important, especially if you know where you're going to land on what side of the field and so forth and so forth services like this um, because it tells you the restaurants tells you where it is in relationship car rentals again just like no different than AFD it's just an electronic AFD FBOs gives you all the information about the FBOs no different than any paper AFD of uh, 
which you might be used to using already. But it does give good uh, phone numbers, contacts, tells you what kind of instruction this particular flight school gives. And so it's really, really nice. Um, anything more, the operating hours of the airport, contact if you need to contact the manager, and of course the cycle, just like any AFD. So again, it's a nice little feature. Maps, go over to maps here. Um, we're focused in on MLI. If I hit that, go to satellite. And again, I'm just going to do some just basic overviews. Gives you to where the clouds are in relationship to MLI. Very cool. So MLI is not under any undercast or overcast. Undercast. I don't think it'd be an under undercast. Uh, what I did like about this program that I have not seen really easily accessible is lightning data. So it shows where the lightning is in relationship to the airport. So you can see northeast of the airport lightning. Very cool. I like that. And then good for VFR pilots is the dew point spread. Love that feature because it color codes where the dew point spread is close to the temperature. So something to keep in mind for VFR pilots. So I like that feature. That's something I've not seen readily available. It's got your VFR sectional. And you can zoom in really close. And you see the screen refresh rate real nice. You can go over to the IFR in route. That's the high, that's the J route. Or low. So nice features. Again, very clear, very easy to follow along. If I wanted to search for an airport, again, go back to the airport. I wanted to see what the map looked like around KMBO, where I'm based at. And then I go over to the balloon. It'll zip me right there, right on the map. Very, very easy to navigate. There is a little learning curve with this program, but I would not call it overwhelming by any means uh, at all. Typical flight briefing stuff. Very nice, very well organized. Uh, I do like the uh, radar, quick radar. And again, I'm working off the wireless, off the 3G. This did take a lot longer to come in because of the images, but it is nice. I'll close that. Got all your typical stuff, your looping radar. Very nice, again, to be able to see things in motion. So again, a lot of power to this, and you can pan on the map a little bit. You know, bring it up, not too much, not, no panning at all, sorry. Again, I'm kind of doing this impromptu. File and download. Okay, I have not uh, set a flight plan up, but you can file a flight plan through this program. You can get a briefing through this program. Um, if I click on that, that's what it would look like. I'd have to fill it in. There's a briefing button there. Uh, downloads. I can download the diagrams, terminal, VFR charts. Again, the, right now I can't download any of these because it is uh, restricted to subscribers. Uh, there is an account button where I can actually sign up through the program. And a nice little feature, especially in the plane, if you have a clearance or if you need to write down a frequency, you can quickly, got a little scratch pad. And, or if you got a minute clearance, you know, clear direct to Y, R, K, and then direct to M, B, O. So you can make a scratch pad out of this. And it actually remembers it if I close it. So you can do a quick scratch pad. I thought that was a nice little touch for in-plane usage along with the maps. So clear it. Go back to airports. So basically, as you can see, there's a ton of features in this program. Just a matter of cutting and pecking through it. It's taken me a couple of days to reasonably get comfortable. Uh, I could see a, a little bit of learning curve, but other than that, uh, if, I, if, it, if it was me to recommend it, I would highly recommend it, uh, both in and out of the plane. Some of the comments say that 3G works 3,000 and below, so we'll have to use other people's experiences to uh, define the practicality inside the plane. 
But from what I can see for IFR plates and also uh, maps, whether it be VFR charts or IFR charts, I see a lot of practicality. So hopefully somebody will find this useful. I know it's gone in 10 minutes, a little longer than I expected, but it hopefully covers what I think is a, what I hope to be a very useful program in our flying ways. Take care.